Uh, yeah, but that's still not like a lot of, um, like job opportunity there. <laughs> but, well, that's why, uh, I, that's why I just did normal computer science because there is so much job opportunity. Yeah, exactly. You're doing, you're doing something smart, but cause, cause here's the thing. I started college as a life science education major and a theater minor because as much as I, uh, you know, am thankful for the experience I had in high school theater, um, it did not give me the confidence that I could make it as an actor. Um, uh, in contrast, um, I had, so a very really oh. bio I had a really good biology teacher in high school. He made that subject fun. And I was like, I want to do that. I want to be a you biologist. Know what's, you know what's crazy? You know what's fucking crazy? I had a horrible biology teacher in high school. Literally widely known as the least, least likable teacher in that school. Oh, everyone and... in my school loved. Because he... The year I took Spence. biology was um, that teacher's first year at the school, and he was just a very like chill and fun dude. Um, hmm. So everybody loved him. Oh. Um, and I was like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to be a biology teacher. And then I got to college, and I had biology teachers and classes that weren't fun. Uh, bored the hell out of me and, and also like my college is like my, my college is known for two things specifically it is known for its nursing program and it is known for its education program that said they're good programs they are tough programs um I just and I just like I couldn't I just couldn't do it anymore. And meanwhile, I was getting, like I was actually getting good roles in theater productions for once. Um, mm. the, the thing that, you know, put the final nail in that was um, my sophomore year in the fall, I got to play the role of Riff Raff in Rocky Horror. Uh, which is to this day my favorite role I've ever played. Um, and so then from that point on, I, I switched Sam to be a theater at Berry yeah. Trees. So I switched to be a theater major. Uh, but Bruh. at my at my college, you have to have Bruh. a minor. Is this not a bug? Bruh, is this not a bug, King Waluigi? Tell me or this an, isn't a bug. Just an exploit. Random no. drop rates? Okay, well, your drop rates need to be a bit lower because I currently have uh, 24 citrus berries. Nice. Not a bug, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Honestly, I could probably... Something that like I've recently become like interested in is like computational biology, which definitely still has like shit from computer science, but like also... Um, like, I don't know. That, computer science is still kind of interesting, and, I, like, I, obviously I'm really good at it. That's why I'm still in it. Yeah. Um, but, like, I took, like, a environmental science, and it was interesting. Because I thought, I thought it was just going to be, like, the, like, your stereotypical, like, save the earth people. Which, most of them are honestly kind of annoying to me. Um, but they, we actually, like, learned interesting stuff. And I was like, oh, this is cool. So now I'm, like, kind of interested in that. <laughs> Even though I would never actually do any type of biology at a college because I hate all kinds of biology except ecology. Yeah, that's, the that's, that's the thing, like, I... See, this game is so... really chill. Yeah, it's a good podcasting yeah. game, you feel me? But like the yeah the thing is like therapeutic as oh. Kenny said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, honestly, honestly, I feel this. I feel the ther the therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, so I switched to the theater major, um, but at my college, if you're a theater major, you have to have a minor. Um, and since I already had you know a couple biology classes out of the way, 
I just decided it'd probably be easy to do the biology minor. And then one more semester of that, I was like, nope, I don't want this any, I don't want this at all. I don't want any more biology. And I, you know, was trying to think of Play this when you're stressed with school? Definitely. And I was like, there's nothing more relaxing than destroying all valuable objects in your path. Yeah, and I was just like, what What can I do Just for like Luciana with uh, Professor Birch? Yeah, and I was like, I like I like movies. I could be a film minor. That, go hand, that goes kind of hand in hand with theater in a way. Uh, and I've never been happier. I That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with where I'm at right now. And... Again, knock on wood, this should be my last semester. Ooh, Birch Roast? Yeah. I feel like that was kind of a long reach, but hey. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Probably whatever I get an internship in, and if I like the internship, then I, then I go. <laughs> then I just go into that field. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Please help. Worst case scenario, I end up as a computer science teacher at a high school. Because <laughs> I would be very, very good at that, but I would not want to be tech support for a high school. Absolutely not. I'm saving my birch roast for when he somehow shows up. <laughs> that is assuming he wasn't stopped by Poochiana on the way here. Now there aren't Poochiana in this area, you can't. Well, hang on. If there, if there's a part of this game where you, you, you are venturing off to Hoenn, Birch is the one native you can kill. <laughs> okay, okay. I, <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. Maybe Mr. Pine is Birch's great, great grand. <laughs> Maybe adding cannon to the game as we go. That's what I like to hear. I mean, that's oh. literally what I'm doing with the plays that's in the works. Hello? I'm a bit late. Whatever. Hello. Hey, Liam, we're playing an even more grindy version of Pokemon. <laughs> I... Stuff was said th that I regret. No, like, all of your critiques on, like, Pokemon are, like, valid. <laughs> it's just... Is the other thing, Liam? It's weird because... Oh, no, you have a hunger meter? Yeah. Yeah. It's not, like, actually difficult to, like... Is solve. this, like, Stardew Valley and Pokemon? You know what? That might that's have a been better. The... That's a better comparison than yeah, Minecraft. that might have been the better comparison you were looking for, Stardew Valley. I haven't played Stardew Valley, so... I Stardew either. Valley? Ah, yes, Falcon is here right in time. But Hello, I've Falcon, heard... welcome. But I've heard that Stardew Valley is just the top-down version of Minecraft, or like Terraria and stuff. I mean, it's like the top-down version of. This is like the Pokemon in Stardew Valley, just. Or maybe really like cute. maybe like Don't Starve as well. Pokemon Stardew version. Hey. King Luigi seems to be embracing it, and he's the dev. So. Hey, I would that... rather. You know, Pokemon Stardew version is a large jump up from PWT clone 57. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> it's so annoying to play like PWT clone after PWT clone and Team Rocket simulator after Team Rocket simulator. It's... Sorry. That said, it would be cool if we got a real Team Rocket simulator. No, no, no. What, you mean just like an a official? good Team Rocket simulator? Like, no, fish. no, like established devs do Team Rocket simulators because they know they're so overdone. Like, if you're gonna do a bad team simulator, just make it a different team. Like, that's such an easy way to change up that script and to make it do. The championship yeah. does have all gens. I see. See, my PWT clone is in the top percentage of PWT clones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling especially cynical tonight. <laughs> Not saying it isn't overdone. My first terrible fan game was a Team Rocket simulator. See, we all do it. We all do it. Though I'm sure the ECAT Team Rocket simulator was a lot better than most Team Rocket simulators. Okay, so... Uh, 
What's we have 88 lumber? Can I like possibly just 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 once? We're gonna have to go and reset the same. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Operation Strike Back. I forget about that one, Falcon. Falcon, would you like to talk about Operation Strike Back? I feel like everyone's first game is either Team Rocket Sim or PWT game. Yeah. I don't know why, but in the in the in the shower today, I was like, you know what? I'd like a musical adaptation of Mewtwo Strikes Back. Okay. I don't know why I thought that, but please no. Here's the other thing. <laughs> Falcon, <laughs> Falcon, Falcon. How many how many downloads does Operation Strike Back have again? Here's the other thing. You Pokemon could call Team it... World Rocket Simulator. You could call it Pokemon the First Musical. You piece of crap. <laughs> PWT Rocket Edition. Isn't that Pokemon Villain Jam? Like, Pokemon Villain Jam is, like, essentially PWT, like, Evil Team Edition. And you know what's crazy? Villain Jam is incredibly well done. <laughs> Did I, should I get the Animal Crossing Switch? If it's still available, then and it's not like more than three hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 just Stop looking at switches on GameStop's website, and it's two ninety nine. Can't you just get New Horizons? Like, it, is it two ninety nine new? Uh, yeah. Can't you just get it off the eShop? Yeah. No, no, I, no, no, no. The Switch, no. not the game. The Switch. Oh. The limited edition, the limited edition console. Nine thousand five hundred eight. I don't know. That's so I'm funny. Thinking about it. I don't oh, understand. Because, it's, because this would be an order of uh, thirty-five plus. You know what's crazy, would, Falcon? Uh, I don't even yeah. think like false oh. order. False Order and Hunter and Raymond, which are my two oldest games, and Hunter and Raymond is arguably my best game because it won Spotlight, right? Neither of them have over a thousand downloads. Probably See, because I have two separate versions, but still, like, that's so weird. People are really suckers for, like, the same formula over and over and over again. You're, Not taking well, a shot at Pokemon by the way. That's Pokemon in a nutshell. That's Pokemon in a nutshell, it's the same formula over and over again, and people love it. Yeah. Although, I actually... So there's a podcast that I watch, and they recently talked about uh, both Pokemon and difficulty in games. And uh, they talked about how the newer Pokemon games, and the specific example they used was Sun and Moon, how much the game holds your hand. Oh my god. That's, I want you to know today, today, why change something if it works? I mean, you can't blame like the content creators, but it's also like, bro, please. Well, Just a singular like game that's different. More rocket clones. Okay. Hang on, I want to hear what Noah has to say. Yeah. Sun and Moon had to do, had to do a certain amount of hand holding because they were changing up the formula for the first time like ever oh my um, god it's like the formula got changed so like drastically no i but, i really don't yeah. think the formula changed that much you go to point a i have to agree get something <laughs> you go to point b and get another similar <laughs> thing it's still like really annoying right, we that do have said, sun and moon i i do really love Sun and Moon. Once you get past that tutorial section, it's one of my favorite games. I agree games. with you, Ecat. I don't watch... I don't hardly watch... Though, here's... I got, like... I'm only halfway through this video. But I watched a video today, and it's it's something along the lines of why Pokemon Sword and Shield's story is, like, so bad. And I'm wa I am just watched through... Oh, yeah. Fixing Pokemon Sword and Shield's story by It's Your Pal Jacob. I have to shout out this video. Because it is so good, and I'm only halfway through, but they've pointed out why Sword and Shield is so bad, and I was like, and originally I was like, okay, I just don't think I fully understand Sword and Shield's story, but he specifically pointed out that nobody understands Sword and Shield's story, because it's so poorly written, and so just thrown together at the end. Like, every single part of Sword and Shield is just 
all the story is right in the last hour of the game. It's because Game Freak didn't give a shit. They're on burnt. They were burnt out. Analysis videos and fun challenge videos. Okay, yeah, I will agree with you because Sword and Shields, like, they basically said, okay, what if we say like, what if, what if we just copy and paste Gen 7's theme except make it a little bit worse because we don't have to try as much. I don't even, like, like, I never, of, of course, I, I've been dressed, I, I don't have a Switch yet, um, and I never even watched a playthrough of Sword and Shield. I have no idea what the plot is. Oh, it's like, so I, fucking bad. It is so bad. Oh my yeah. god. Okay. Even challenges start to feel the same to me after a while. Yeah, I know. I'm back See, the I... out soon. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this event since we finally have a hundred lumber. Then back again. Hello, sir. Basically, the only first... Pokemon content I want. Let's do this. Instead, I'll just settle with saying that I. Thanks. <laughs> the first thing we'll start with is the lumber. Oh, you have 100 lumber. Thank you for gathering that. Next, we need 100 stones. It would be fantastic if you got those. Okay, I take, this is obviously a nitpick, and I, I've had a few other nitpicks that I forget. Obviously, the grindy part is not fun, but like, my one nitpick is like, you can't say, oh, you have 100 lumber, especially, like, the, the difficult thing with having like an old-fashioned game or a game that takes place before all of X and Y was invented was like, um, like, Ah, uh, what the fuck am I trying to say? It's like, it handicaps you dialogue and story-wise. Like, you have to be very particular with how you present and write things. So, like, I saying you have a hundred lumber is just something that I think probably doesn't really... You got so much lumber, this better build a freaking mansion. Yeah, but what does a hundred lumber mean? Is that just, like, a hundred little things of wood that you find on a playground or is that like a hundred lumber like a hundred things of trees i'm See reminded I mean? of a have I, have any have either of you played uh poke park we uh, no. okay what okay park we um, yeah, have you never heard of okay park we i I've heard of it, yeah, definitely. Um, I may have played it like once, but I don't have Pikachu, it. Now. Pikachu's Adventure. Uh, I, See, I did. I had Kenny has. I don't. Yeah, no, I I never played either of those games, but I specifically remember the commercial for Poké Park Two Wonders Beyond. What a fantastic game Falcon has. I actually yeah. really enjoyed it. I, I'm sure if I played it now, I would think it's trash, but I really enjoyed it. Go on though. That game was like super expensive for a spin-off. It was like I got that for my twelfth birthday or something. I love that so well, much. Well, for me, it was like this is just the standard price of a Wii game. So, and I had never played any of the original games. So, keep in mind there was a huge point in my life where my parents would only let me play on consoles. Yeah. So, so couldn't exactly play any Pokemon games because of that. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, Poke Park, I was just like, it's a Pokemon game on a console. I'm a buy this. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's actually really weird. I, like, as big of a Pokemon game fan as I've always been, I have never, like, I think the only Pokemon console game I've ever owned is Stadium 2. I mean, that's a pretty good one, so... I think that's the only Pokemon game I've owned on a console. Unfortunately, yeah, I, didn't, that was... I didn't have, like, any old consoles. The first console I got was a Wii, so anything before that... I, I mean, that was, like, I mean, I only got, like, I got my N64 just, like, a couple of years ago. I feel like uh, Falcon doing that's... his bet... Falcon doing yeah. his best uh, Galar region... Uh, yeah. impersonation as he says I feel like it won't hold the same weight as I'm an older lad now but it was a great experience yeah I got actually it was one of the first games I ever owned because I got the N60, N64 was my first console and with it came five games uh, Star Wars Racer Donkey Kong 64 Super Smash Brothers Mario Kart 64 and Pokemon Stadium 2 yeah 
and uh, had no idea what Pokemon was. The only thing I really knew is that Pikachu was overpowered in Smash Brothers. <laughs> I own Pokemon Snap, too. The actually, Pokemon Snap was my first N64. Yeah, I got that one way later. Like, long after I'd gotten, like, the Wii. But yeah, I, I made the mistake of buying Battle Revolution because I'm just like, this seems like it'd be fun. It's basically Pokemon Stadium 2, but it's on the Wii. And then it you is not. weren't able to play with... I remember these. renting uh, Battle Revolution, like, from... Did you guys... You guys ever rent games from Family Video? No. No. I... So... Uh, if you, they, by the way, if if for some reason you want my copy, I will literally give it to you. I'm I'm looking for a reason to get rid of it. Dude, that's so sad because I love Battle <laughs> Revolution, but you literally needed a DS game to like play. It, exactly, which sucks because I <laughs> love Battle Revolution and I used like all of my platinum, all of my yeah, I used like all of my platinum team, like every and I like I completed the Sinnoh decks in platinum. And I had all of those Pokemon in Battle Revolution. It was so fun. But if you didn't have that, you were literally just stuck. Yeah. You see, the thing with Pokemon Stadium 2 is that have exactly with a couple that's good. That's with good. a couple of exceptions, you could use any Gen 1 or Gen 2 Pokemon. Yeah. Alright, let's do some story real quick. Let's do some story real quick. Next, we need stones. Oh, you have 100 stones. Thank you for gathering that. Lastly, a new stone appeared right where I want to start construction. Would you okay, kindly never take actually, care of that? I never actually explained why I brought up uh, Poker Park Wii. I'll do that in a moment. Um, oh, this okay, this ain't stone. a stone. This is a Pokemon real quick. This is definitely okay. a Pokemon. Uh, the reason I brought it up is because one of the first like things you have to do is essentially a fetch quest for a Bidoof. You have to get like at least like five pieces of lumber, and okay, you can only okay. carry one at a time. Okay. This rock is blocking the way. Would you like to use the pickaxe to break it? Use the pickaxe. Uh-oh. It's a Pokemon. The Graveler is infuriated. The Graveler attacked. As I was I was late to the party, what's the whole story shtick on this one? So basically, we, um, us humans are manifesting our destiny west of Unova, and we are building our oh my God. town in the new frontier. That's horrible. What? Oh, don't worry, Liam. We're not killing natives. That is okay. That is what I was thought of. We're not, I'm sorry no. that those words just equate to like doing atrocious and awful things. Yeah. Because the words are so fun to say. Please don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> okay. Defeat this. <laughs> defeat Your this face. Pokemon. It first wow, turned self-destruct. The Graveler said, fuck this. Nerf this. I, are, I assume Pokeballs do not exist. Actually, they do. Oh, wow. That's surprising, actually. Yeah, I don't... I, I always... I, like, am just automatically assuming this is, like, a similar timeline to, like, human development and expansion in the U.S. Because that's obvious like an obvious inspiration here but also i'm gonna save real quick before i do this shiny graveler self-destruct flashbacks i yeah yep mm -hmm. okay all right hello there whoa so that rock, it was a Graveler. Yeah, did you hear the explosion? Hmm, interesting. Why are all these strange Pokemon attacks happening? Maybe because... Ah, uh, I see, we're not killing people, King Waluigi, but the Pokemon that we are impeding upon is metaphorically tied. <laughs> oh, no, don't. No. I'm sorry, I should not be saying this. Yeah, no, Why are, are all of these... Sorry? What? Are you? Are you? Yes, though, are you I am. Really? I should not be saying that. Why are all these strange Pokemon attacks happening? It's very odd indeed. Well, don't worry about it. Construction on the new province town will take about three months, so you will be helping with that a bit. 
For now, though, you should rest. Three months later? Three months later? Chapter 3, The Munching Thief. Three months later. Gee, wonder what that thing could be, re what that title could refer to. I know. Hey, Kate. Also, also this... This fucking indoor tile set is gorgeous. Holy shit. This is so nice. Oh, that really is awesome. This is so cool. Yeah, literally. <clears throat> literally that email. Hey, Kate, I've got great news. Your cabin is finally done. Now it did. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Luckily, Stream didn't have to hear it at all. I... oh. <laughs> stream. Gesundheit, by the way. Yeah. Game gets better here. No longer Well, they, they, they saw it in your face cam. So oh, well, yeah. But... Okay. Right. Now, it did take a bit longer than I... Kato, Kato sneeze. sneeze. That's not even creative. It doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> Now, it did take a bit longer than I had hoped, but all of our work paid off. You could probably head over there right now. All right, let's go. Let's do this shit. Hey, Kato Rage also technically does not rhyme. No. Oh, no. What shall I do? Oh, Kate, I need you to tell Mr. Pine that all of our food is gone. Something came last night and ate all of our food. You must hurry. I'm sure, and you, I'm sure you and Mr. Pine will come up with a solution. Oh no. Ah yes, the good old forgot to tie it up on the tree branch, I see. Or like or like Dratini wearing the fur of a dead Looney Tune or something. That's a little That's messed up. I don't know. So, Cade, what did you think of your ca What? All of our food is gone. Oh no, this is an urgent matter for sure. Well, the best we can do. You'll have to gather more food for us, Cade. 50 orange berries and 20 citrus berries should do the trip. Please get them as soon as possible, then report back to me. Donner Party Simulator. More grinding? No, but can't we just, like, mash enter on these things and be fine? Like, can't I just... Not a bug, by the way. Not a bug, by the way. We're playing Minecraft creative mode, clearly. These people, oh no, we've lost all of our food. Infinite berries! The berry bush is outside of town. Okay. How many, how many berries do we have? We have 60 orange berries and 20 citrus berries, so we can go ahead and grab some more. Also, grabbing some lumber in the process. Bro, come on. I like how they come in bursts. Yeah. I think the random equation is Burst. just, you know, not super random. Getting a truly Noah. random thing. No. Okay. You like? Don't think I didn't hear that. Get some Pokeballs? Is your favorite Sonic game? <clears throat> you said Burst, which is only in Forces. Oh, I thought Burst was one of the colors. No. Thing. Oh, never mind. I mean, it, it might be in the DS version. I, mean, I don't know. I just remember first. <laughs> well, and then from uh, colors, I I do remember rocket. All right. I think the only, let's I do think, this shit. I think I think the only right. wisp that is also wisp on in forces is cute. All right. The first thing we'll start with are the orange berries. Oh, you have fifty orange berries. 
Thanks for gathering that. Next, we need 20 citrus berries. Remember, this is very important. All right, let me save real quick, and then we'll... Speaking of forces, I'm looking Next, at... we need the citrus berries. Oh, That's you cool. have 20 citrus berries. Fantastic. We have all the berries now. If you would, please deliver them to our food and essential storage. Oh? Is this my house, I would assume? Yeah, this is my house, so this must be food and essentials. Okay. Hello there. Hello again, Kate. How are you doing today? I would like to thank you again for getting me all of those berries. Oh. Um. Oh, I'm a rock whisperer. I whisper <laughs> and nurture special rocks to good health. You shouldn't ask any questions. It seems like too much trouble. Do you have a special rock for me to look at? No. Cade really just did the classic teacher all wait. Ecat, I want you to know yeah. I do this on like during I, I, my summer I, I job, I did that shit on a thinking. daily basis. I won't pretend that wasn't what I was thinking.